Welcome to Red's Workshop! I got a box. Well, hello guys, gals, and automobiles of the internet. I got a new friend. I know it's a very, very old figure, but I just managed to get my hands on it. It's Nate, Mr. Silva. Um, I, I have a qualm, but we can get into that in, a, in just one second, just a second. All right, let's just get the qualm out of the way really fast. Um, there's maybe one or two scenes in the entire show where Nate doesn't have his glasses on. This is an absolutely amazing head sculpt, but wh why doesn't he have his glasses? Nate always wears glasses, and like, as someone who wears glasses, I like when rangers wear glasses. It makes, it feels relatable, you know? So, um, yeah. Where's his glasses, bro? But we'll get the other accessories out of the way quick. It comes with uh, that stupid old generic power effect that I now have a million of in the collection. Uh, he comes with his little morpher blaster. Comes with his sword. Pretty nice detail on that. It's got a few different uh, paint apps on it. Looks nice. Uh, he comes with an alternate punching fist. And hands down, one of the best accessories to ever come with a lightning collection figure. He's got a little hand throwing up the fucking horns. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's for like his final attack or something, but I just love the fact that he comes with a hand throwing up the horn. So I'm probably always going to have this one on there. Um, but let's talk about the actual figure, because this thing's nice. Uh, mine has a little bit of a gash right there. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, but it's a little bit of silver. Um, so we'll, we'll go through the articulation quick because I, I want to gush a lot about how much I like this figure. Uh, so he's got full rotation, full rotation, about 90. Uh, butterflies in the shoulder, which are hidden by his um, little armor bits. Uh, double joint at the elbow, but mine's a little tight. I'm gonna have to put some heat on him. Uh, then he's got swish and flick at the wrist. He's got the full swingy swing. Hey, can you focus please? Thank you. Swingy swingy. Forward. Backward. Really nice. Uh, ooh. Here, if I, uh, if I shift that leg shield a little bit. Okay. Not quite a full split, but uh he can he can full split if you go this way. And then he's got full rotation at the thigh. Double joint at the knee. Um because of the armoring, it doesn't quite Oh, okay. There you go. If you bend it right, it'll it'll go pretty far back. And then no rotate yeah, no rotation at the boot. I don't think. No. Um... Oh, yep. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. It was just a little bit tight. Sweet. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't want to force it on this side because, like I said, it's pretty tight. I'll have to put a little bit of heat on him. Uh, and then he's got forward-facing rocker in the feet, which have the, the big old stompers on there um so yeah now i just want to talk about i was very very pleasantly surprised by beast morphers it has quickly become one of if not my favorite power rangers series um which feels crazy to say about a modern series um i i, I always thought i was just gonna hate all of the modern renditions of power rangers but 
Beast Morphers kills it. I, I really enjoyed the series. Like, the characters have a lot of really good development to them. I love all the tie-ins with past series. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of heat on his leg. I don't know if y'all are seeing that, but it's got a, a little bit of curvature inwards to it. Um, but I absolutely loved Beast Morphers as a series. I love the character development. I love the connection to the past. I know I just said all of that, but I feel like I need to reiterate it because they did so good. Like, I wasn't the biggest fan of Ben and Betty. Not their portrayal. I love the actor and the actress. They're both great. I just am not a fan of low-budget humor. I feel that they could have done most of the slapstick stuff that they did using practical effects, and they just didn't. So I thought that that was kind of lazy. But I appreciate them as characters. And damn it, I'm gonna say it. Great to be human is growing on me. Maybe I've just listened to it enough times that I, I'm growing an appreciation and a fondness for it, but damn it, I like it. I like the song. I like the message behind it. Like, that whole episode is about just appreciating the fact that you're alive. And that's some existential shit. Like, they went deep with that episode, and they did not need to. So, let me know what you guys think. A a am I just waxing poetic on a children's show, or was it actually really good? Um... I, and this figure is amazing. I am madly in love with this. I just wish that, like I said, he came with glasses. He should come with glasses. So I hope that they re-release, like, this figure with Steel as a two-pack or something and give him his glasses. Please, Hasbro. I really don't want to have to try to make custom glasses for this guy. <sighs> Excuse me. There you go. That's fun. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Am I just being dumb about this, or was Beast Morphers actually really good? And is this figure as, you know, did you have this figure? Did you manage to get your hands on it? Let me know what you think about it. Um, for now, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm going to catch you in the next one.